So, Jerry, how's it going for you here at Fab 48 in Las Vegas? Uh, it's going great, man. It's fun. It's very hot. Fab 48 is a big tournament, very intense, and I just want to win. Okay. Um, so, uh, any colleges looking at you right now? Uh, yeah, a few couple colleges. I talked to Seattle, uh, Colorado, uh, a lot of different colleges from all over. I'm just trying to see exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. What are your expectations for the rest of the summer? Uh, this is actually one of my last tournaments, so I'll probably be playing this and then looking forward to going to school next year. Okay. All right, all right, Jerry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. All right. Jerry, what are your thoughts about um, being in the Fat 48 tournament here in Las Vegas? Uh, yeah, it's really exciting. You know, a lot of my friends is playing out here, but uh, it's, it's really fun. You know, it's a lot of uh, good players and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I got to go out here and handle my business so, you know, I'm going to get embarrassed. Okay, how's the field to be at Bosco, uh, starting, starting lineup in uh, the coming season, right? Oh, yeah, it, you know, it's really exciting. You know, we're playing, with, playing against and with some of the best. You know, we're going to play modern day twice. I'm playing with the Hamiltons and um, Darian Wills, Williams from uh, Olu. So, you know, it, it should be really exciting this year. Pretty fun okay. season. So, you're looking forward to uh, being the starting lineup uh, on the varsity squad this time, right? Yeah, yeah. Looks like okay. So how, how else are you preparing for the coming season at Bosco? Uh, well, mostly, you know, just getting in shape, trying to get the, uh, get everybody on one accord so that we can have a little bit of chemistry so that we can gel as a unit, you know, things like that. Okay. Uh, good luck in the Fab 48 tournament, all right? Thank you. Uh, we're just talking about the Fab 48 here in Las Vegas, and how is it going for you? Oh, it's, uh, it's a good tournament, and I like it a lot. Uh, expectations is high for us. Okay, what are your expectations for the rest of the tournament? Expectations is just winning it, uh, playing hard, keep playing positive. And, uh, okay, me. okay, what about uh, coming back to Boston next year? What are your expectations uh, on that, on that, on that for that as well? Our expectations is just uh, go out there, play hard, and not take nobody for granted or nothing for granted. Okay, and uh, overall for the summer, how's it going? How'd it go for you this summer? Um, on the live period and the exposure that you're getting? Oh, I want to thank God, and uh, it's been going real good, and uh, the exposure is pretty good, and uh, I, I'm starting to like it, and I think I'm playing pretty good. Okay, um, okay that's about it, okay? Okay. What are your thoughts are about the Fab 48 tournament here in Las Vegas? How are you, how you doing overall in the tournament? So this is my first uh, Fab 48 tournament, and I, it was a really great tournament. A lot of good players, a lot of good team, a lot of good coaches, and good competition overall. And from my understanding, you're from Europe. What part of Europe are you from? I'm from Croatia. It's a small country next to Italy. But we're producing a, a couple of NBA players and we have a really good youth group. So how does Europe compare to the United States in basketball? Uh, United States is, of course, a better place to play basketball. A lot more good players and it's more physical. Okay, all right. And uh, you're going to be at St. Bernard this fall, right? Yes. Yeah, what expectations for, for that school? Are you going to have, have some fun over there playing? Yes, yeah, so I will transfer from Ribe Academy to St. Bernard next year. And we'll have a lot of good players, new players. And our goal is uh, CF Championship and State Championship. Uh, okay, all right, thank you. Thank you. Coach, uh, what are your thoughts are about the Fab 48 here in Las Vegas? Okay, uh, Fab 48 is a huge tournament. I think it's the best tournament out here. And um, a lot of college coaches, head coaches, and just out here trying to get these guys some exposure, try to win some games, and uh, have some fun, maybe change some lives. Okay, uh, some of your players are here in the tournament, including Jerry Blake and others. Uh, so how are they doing so far? Uh, they're doing awesome. Um, they're creating a good buzz for their for themselves, and uh, that's one of the reasons I'm here. You know, I, I'm the head coach at Morningside High School. And, you know, I'm here for my guys. I want to see them get to the next level and just represent our city and represent our state well. Okay, what are your expectations for the coming year? I know it's early to mention that, but what are your expectations for Morningside High School basketball program? Okay, our expectations are um, always to win league, of course, uh, make a good run at the CIF championships, and uh, hopefully get to the state playoffs as well. Uh, we've gone to the state playoffs two out of the last four years, so um, that's always a goal that we set. And uh, for those guys to enjoy the experience, you know, it's bigger than basketball, you know, with us at Morningside. We consider ourselves a family, so we just want to grow um, as people as well.
Okay, thank you very much. Good luck in the Fat 48. Thank you. Okay. And we're here in Las Vegas, Fat 48. Uh, what are your thoughts about the tournament and how it's preparing you for basketball season? Uh, the tournament so far is uh, is great. You know, all the players coming together. You know, good players. You know, around the you know around the you know around the world. You know, to come over here and play. And it's real good. And. Uh, me is setting me for, you know, to become a leader, you know, me being a point guard, you know, I, I play off the ball during basketball season uh, at my school at St. Bernard, so to play point guard and, you know, to be talkative, you know, that's, uh, that's helping my game a lot. Yeah. Uh, what are the expectations for the coming season at St. Bernard? Uh, we lost Coach Morris, you know, it, you know, he was going to Redondo, but, you know, people think, you know, that we're going to fall off, but uh, I don't think so at all. Uh, we got we, we got a few pieces, you know, we lost some, you know, we lost about like five seniors, so uh, we, we should be back at it, you know. I think we moved up the division in 4A now, but uh, that doesn't mean anything. We should be we should be on the top, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank all right, you're welcome. Las Vegas, 48. What are your thoughts about the tournament? Uh, it's a good tournament. It's some good talent here. But I think our team is going to win it all because we obviously we have the best talent here. Yeah, uh, how does the tournament prepare you for basketball season? Because uh, I'm playing against a lot of people that I haven't played, in, against, uh, played against in the season. So it's preparing me for my season because I'm playing hard here and I'm going to play hard during the season. Okay, what are your expectations for Crenshaw basketball this coming season? Uh, this season we're going to be city competitors. I think we got the talent to win it all. Fab 48 in Las Vegas. Uh, tell me how it went for you. It went great. I had fun. We, we lost though, but it was a great experience for me. Uh, it was it. That was it. <laughs> uh, expectations at your new school? Um, just kind of the same as St. Bernard's. Just collect as a family. Have fun, work hard, and do good in school. Okay, um, okay, and are you college looking at you right now already? Um, yes, I have UCLA, Colorado, and Arizona. Okay, all looking at you. Okay, cool. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, uh, how's it going for you here at the Fab 48 in Las Vegas? Uh, good, good. We're doing good. We, we got to the semifinal, and I think we're going to get the championship. Yeah, how's it feel to be here? Uh, it's, good. it's a good experience. This is my first time, and I'm so excited to play. Uh, okay. What kind of prepared you for basketball season? Uh, it's helping me a lot. It's, uh, I'm having a good competition, good players, and I think we're going to have a good season. we got a better team. Okay, have you had some good challenges here at the tournament? Good competition from teams? Yeah, there's good players right here. And this is my first time in this tournament, so I'm enjoying I'm glad, I'm glad to be here. One last question. Uh, what colleges are looking at you uh, at this time? Uh, Utah, Washington State, Santa Barbara, uh, North Arizona. And a couple more. A couple more. And Hawaii too. Okay, so this is just a bit with a big coming out party for you, huh? Yeah. I hope so a lot of people. Yeah. A lot of people are talking about you here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. All right, thank you. Thank you. Right. Talked about um, your participation in the Fab 48 here in Las Vegas. Uh, besides the uh, the weather being really really uh, tough, uh, it was a lot of fun. A lot of great competition. A lot of good athletes. Uh, you know, I appreciate the fact that it was fairly organized and, and the officiating for the most part was, was very fair. So um, I think we got, you know, what we, what we wanted out of it in terms of uh, trying to get these kids some exposure and, and trying to get them uh, some college looks. And, you know, unfortunately we came up short in the semifinals of our, of our division. But, uh, you know, at the same time, it's been a long summer. So to, to end this way is kind of tough. But I think we got what we wanted accomplished. Um, on a side note, how is Cantwell getting ready for the coming season and what, what do you expect from them this year? Um, more of the same, we're hoping. Uh, we're going to try to bump up our schedule a little bit, play, play some bigger teams, some, some teams that have had maybe some more success in the past. Um, we're, we're really looking forward. We have a lot of guys back. Uh, we played some real good competition in the summer. Uh, we had a lot of success uh, this summer against some pretty competitive teams, so we're hopeful that, that we can make a run. We know our division's gotten a lot better with uh, all the transfers to, uh, to St. Anthony, so we, we have our hands full. Uh, but, you know, really we're just, we're just trying to focus and, and, and get better as a group and, 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 you know, hopefully more of the same.
Who's coming back to lead the team this year at Cantwell Sacred Heart? Uh, obviously, our, our go-to guy is going to be uh, Jose Estrada. Uh, he averaged 32, game, uh, 32 points a game last year, so he, he's going to be back and he's going to be a big part of what we're doing. Uh, our two young guards, uh, juniors, uh, Emiliano Mejia, and Joey Covarrubias are, are both, uh, you know, returning returning for us. And then we have a center, senior center, uh, Jacob Contreras, that uh, that contributed towards the end for us last year, especially in our in our playoff run. And he's gotten a lot better. So I expect a lot from Jacob this uh, this this uh, this season upcoming because he's worked hard in the weight room, got more athletic and, and a lot more physical. So we, we have high expectations and high hopes for next year. Were they here? Were they also here in Vegas with other teams? You know what? No, they they weren't here. Um, you know, okay. they, they played all, all spring, all summer, and, and with our Cantwell team, we probably played in, in June 20 days in a row. Uh, in July, they played, probably played about 15, 16 days in a row. So they've, they've played a lot of basketball. And, uh, you know, I think now we're going to rest up and then get yeah. ready for, uh, for all the uh, leagues coming up in uh, September. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.